Hello, my name's Jim. What we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to randomize the height of um, our, an object inside of Houdini. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what we've got here is if you see these posts that I've created, very simple posts. I've um, been working on trying to figure out how to randomize the height of these so that, for instance, like in a previous tutorial, we looked at making a post and rail fence. Obviously, the posts going in the ground wouldn't necessarily be exactly the same height. You know, some of my rotted and things like that. It just adds to that extra sort of realism. Um, it turns out that this is actually relatively simple to do. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get started. So uh, right click in our network view, type in geo. And what we'll do is we'll just name this posts post then what we'll do in the network view is we will uh, right click type tube and then we will drop down our primitive type to mesh and then we'll drag off of uh, our tube and hit tab and type um, polyfill so this is going to put our end caps on and then we'll scroll, select polyfill and scroll up to uh, fill mode and select triangle fan. And then what we'll do is we'll untick deform patch and there we go. Now what we'll do is we'll drag off of polyfill, hit tab, type transform. If I spell it right. And then we'll set our scale to say 0.1, leave the middle one as one and 0.1. And then we'll just uh, center our object. So if we click on tube, go to uh, the middle uh, axis and select uh, point, type point 0.5. So that brings it up to the bottom of the grid. So that means that our height's only ever going to go up rather than up and down. And then what we'll do is we will create a line. So if we right click, type line. And what we're going to do is we're going to, if we select our little um, display, I, uh, nodule here and that's going to show our uh, line here and then what we'll do is we'll turn the points on just here and um, so what we're going to use this line for is to control the length of our fence um, so what we'll first do is we'll just change the direction of it so if we select direction type in zero in the one that's one and then type in one that's the direction we want it to go so um, just get the right way there so then when we move this line um, our posts uh, will increase, uh, post amount will increase. So what we'll do is just set that to one, we'll drag off the line and hit tab, type resample. And what this is gonna do is add more points to our fence post. I found that about 0.98 works for me. And um, so you can see here that we've got three points. So that what happens is when we select our line and we drag out, we're getting more points here that are automatically being added. So what we can now do is we want to copy to points so if we right click type in copy to and select copy to points and then we'll plug our post into our first uh, connecting node and our points into our second so what happens then is we should get our post copied so as you can see here they're identical in height and um, so what we want to do now is that we basically want to randomize the height of these. So I'll just turn the points off a minute so we can get rid of that. So what we need to do is we need to type, right click, type in uh, randomize. There we go. So we can attribute randomize. And then what we can do is we can just slide that over in between the copy to points and resample and that'll plonk it in. So by default, it's showing a random color. So um, we can scale through that, I'll see it here. Um, so that's obviously, that could be very useful for obviously affecting random colors and things like that on objects or applying random colors and objects. So obviously if we create our, our fence length here, you would see we have different colors in, um, which could obviously be very handy for material, randomized materials, things like that. But what we do is we'll click our uh, attribute randomize. And then what we want to do is in attribute name. So CD is the, the, the code for um, color changing the color and um, what we do is we can type in p all lowercase scale so what that's going to do is you can see here is randomize the scale now how i found these is there's two obviously obviously ways is, is um uh obviously googling but um i look in the uh documentation for houdini so if you hit f1 um that brings up your documentation and um it's it's incredibly good so you can type in like um scale and um brings up all of the things relating to scales and you know you might type in attribute that the uh, name of this uh, 
um, node here like attribute randomize and it will tell you what's attached to it how it works things like that so it's incredibly detailed and very helpful and also Houdini is, is when you obviously the ma I'm not a mathematics person I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest I'm not one of these people that can do amazing equations and things like that um, but I found a lot of the stuff so far in Houdini is logical. It's, you know, of like when I was trying to figure out how to randomize stuff, I was literally just typing in random. I was thinking, right, so what's this? How does that work? You know, things like um, how, how do I fill the end cap? So I typed in, you know, I typed in fill and I thought, oh, there's polyfill. Things, you know, it's pretty, pretty logical so far. Saying that, obviously, I have not got into anything complicated yet. So what we'll do is... Um, uh, so that's as you can see here has applied our scale. What we can do is move this down because we don't we're only affecting one uh, one value. So in here we've got our minimum value and maximum value. So what we can say is well we don't want it to be that small. So we're going to say 0 0.8. So you can see here it's randomised it. Now what should happen is that when we move our line here, so we select our line and our length, it should create random sizes. So you can see here it's randomising the sizes of what we're our posts here and um, yeah, so you can see that it gives you an idea of how that's going to work and how that you can be useful. Um, so it might be that we say, oh, that's a little bit too much there. Um, so obviously, that, that's incredibly handy for creating, you know, for instance, if you had a rock there, you've got one rock, you can um, create loads of little pebbles, loads of big rocks. They're all randomized along, you know, um, along your floor or, or whatever, you know. Uh, we'll look at later on how I, how to sort of scatter stuff across the floor. So you can scatter these posts randomly within a grid. Um, but yeah, we'll look at that later and how we can use this this these kind of things to randomise height and things like that. But as you can say, for this, it would be really handy for our post and rail fence that we made previously where we can now obviously um, uh, create that e extra element of realism. So yeah, hopefully that's helped you and cheers.